The report by the team of five experts who investigated the Kojonga plane mishap that caused the death of Rhodes Minister Kip Kalekonis and his bodyguard, Assistant Minister for Home Affairs, Lona Laboso, and the flight's pilot concludes the most probable cause of this accident was controlled flight into terrain and that the major contributing factors to the accident were low visibility due to fog and inadequate flight planning by the pilot. In this case, the pilot was using his vision to determine the direction of the flight based on the aviation vision flight rules. A more experienced pilot could also use instrument flight rules to guide their direction and judgment, with instruments referring to solely relying on communication from air traffic controllers. But aviation expert Bernard Gatune says if a pilot is armed with adequate weather focused information, poor weather judgment is nearly impossible. Flying under visual flight rules, must be able to see and now you enter an area where you're not able to see so you carry the brain. Aviation meteorologists on the other hand say details on the weather forecast are normally handed over to pilot prior to any flight. In fact if not clear a pilot is free to come here and consult the department further before takeoff. We do a very good job in aviation meteorology because although most of the times you can see it's due to weather, it is not because the weatherman never gave the right forecast. It may be because what we call the pilot judgment. The weather forecast is part of vital information a pilot includes in their flight planning. Here, information on the route, the lapse time to destination, the amount of fuel on the aircraft, the alternative destination should the flight fail to arrive at the original destination is recorded. The report concluded that Schnar Christopher, the pilot of the aircraft 5Y BVE license for the company Sky Trades, was not qualified to take flight. And now fingers are pointing to the aviation regulator for these omissions. Directly, they are saying that all is not well in the Kenya Civil Aviation. According to the report, six of the seven safety recommendations point to failure by the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority to enforce appropriate safety measures. The report proposes, among others, increased surveillance to KCAA certificate holders, an indication that current air operators may not be up to required standards. That KCAA should restrict the use of aviation licenses issued to foreign nationals for non-commercial activities. This too suggests that KCAA, which is responsible for vetting operators, has not executed its mandate keenly, and that the Immigration Department should be more vigilant in the issuance and renewal of work permits to expatriate aviators. Again, Immigration is not responsible for vetting who is eligible for a permit. Aviation experts now warn that the Aviation Authority must put its act together before it's too late. Maureen Mpando, Citizen TV.